So what happens if we use the cancel? So now what we're going to do is we're going to message box and we're going to say cancel and cancel. Okay, let's go back into our workbook, double click. Our cancel is false. But what happens if we set, oops, I'm in that cell again. What happens if we set our cancel equals true? We'll just message box cancel one more time. Say cancel now and cancel. So initially our cancel is false. Our cancel is false. We now say it's true. And you'll see we actually canceled the event. So I'm going to get rid of both of these. Okay. And if we double click, our cancel is true. Nothing happens. But if it's false, false, we it, it executes the double click. So by setting your cancel to true, you can actually cancel the event. So like let's say um, you have some logic in there that if it's a certain value or if it's a certain cell, you can actually cancel the double click um, based on your, your event handler. So that's pretty cool.